Hello everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I have pulled over at just a little town. I needed to kind of stretch my legs, um, get a little snack and have a bathroom break. <laughs> um, but wow, I have had a lot of downloads coming as I've been driving. I don't really get a ton of time like just to myself, right? Like I've spoke about before, I'm a single mom of three kids. So who, you know, are at home with me, I unschool them. So when my kids aren't with me, um, I work, right? Those are the times that I, that I do go to my job and I work. So another reason why this weekend um, was so big for me, right? <laughs> and so just a lot of things coming in right now. And whoo, also, um the energy right now it is we are feeling <laughs> that leo energy right that fiery energy um you i feel like we have been put like in a snow globe and just like shooken up right there's so much stuff coming up um for so many people um it's you know the time that we're in um like i said the leo energy the lion's gate portal as well as these uh three planets that we have conjunction in conjunction right now um i've shared a lot about that on my telegram channel so feel free to check that out and um it's just you know it's a lot about like purging and stuff coming up you know being triggered um, working on your shadow self and and finding the things that you need to let go of so that you can you know start um, you know or continue your growth right continue you in your awakening get out of that 3d and into the 5d right and um, I tapped back into kind of the truth or community yesterday uh, in a group that um, I was very big a part of um, it's, you know, it's a good sized group in the, in the city that I live in here. Right. And I, I had posted something the other day and I just, I, like I said, I haven't really tapped into there a whole lot. I have a subgroup that I kind of like, um, an offshoot from that group that I started for like spirituality, meditation, and, um, like energy work and that kind of stuff. So I kind of stay more within that that um, section but I I had shared something within the main group the other day and I think it like really ruffled some feathers um, again it seems to be within that group within the truth or community I seem to ruffle a lot of feathers with um, people who are religious Christian um, which is actually what helped me um, start the subgroup um, was that a lot of them were complaining and really uncomfortable with, you know, some of the things that that I was posting. So one of the other um, main people in the group had just kind of reached out and said, hey, do you want to like start your subgroup and kind of you can keep those things in there, which at first I thought was really funny. But then afterwards, I'm like, no, this is actually really nice because it's a safe place that those of us who, you know, are trying to work at getting out of this 3D, that really dense, um, you know, area into the 5D and, and, you know, really working on that. And it's a safe place to be able to talk without being like attacked and jumped on. So without getting into too much detail about it, but I had shared um, this article that, yes, it was it was an article from the CBC. And I mean, anybody who knows me, I do not watch mainstream media. I haven't for years. I have not even owned a TV for like 10 years, I think it's been now. So I don't, I don't watch the mainstream media. I don't follow it. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. The CBC, yes, is definitely one of the worst, you know, the communist broadcasting company is what I like to call it. But you know what? this article i don't even think that it was the fact that it was in the cbc i think it was more the fact that it was talking about a christian school and things that had happened within that christian school some really horrible things right so it ruffled some feathers it triggered people of things that they're not ready to step out of right 
again, that 3D, that density of, of the, um, you're not willing to like look at yourself when you're being triggered. It's the ego, right? So when we're being triggered and, you know, something is, you know, frustrating us or angers us or, you know, brings up these like this fiery energy, there's a reason, right? That's something that we need to look on, look at and we need to work on, right? But so many people are just stuck in this like attack mode in this like projecting whatever it is that they're you know that they're not okay with or, or their um their um, beliefs that they're stuck in like stuck is what keeps coming to me when i anytime i tap into the the truth or community again it's just this stuck energy it's just stuck there's so many people that yes they are awakening to you know a lot of the things like the banking system and the you know the political system you know the medical system some of them still aren't even awake to the school systems but they're getting there um, but when it comes to um, religion a lot of them are not willing to break away from everything that they've been taught um, they're not willing to open up their mind to hearing something else and I'm not saying that my truth has to become their truth but at least being willing to open up and realizing that all systems are corrupt and they've all been infiltrated and inverted and manipulated you know so I just had like quite a few people just jump on me and be like why would you post anything from the from the CBC and what is this doing here and like why like just you know and I just laughed right because it just reminded me again stuck came right into my head like so loud and it just reminded me that um, you have to look inwards right and when you are still like in the 3d density and it is your ego that's coming up it is just people don't have the the capacity to just scroll on by right if it doesn't resonate with you that's fine right you don't need to go and now project whatever it is that that is coming up for you onto that person you can just scroll on by and um that's pretty much just what i left in a comment you know just saying like um, if this doesn't resonate with you, then just leave it, right? You don't need to like come on here and comment, just scroll by, right? And, um, that's a huge thing in, in not just the, um, the truth or community in, in like, well, social media in general, right? People, um, they, they feel like they always have to comment on something when they don't agree with something or they don't resonate with it. They have to, pro they have to project whatever it is that, you know, that is either their truth or, or whatever they're being triggered from. They feel like they always have to project it opposed to just, um, leaving it, you know, just, just scroll on by don't jump into it what are you putting your energy into right and I'm not you know I'm not sitting here trying to make it seem like I have it all figured out trust me I do not I am a work in progress yesterday was a harder day for me um, my older daughter loves sims okay so she really wants to become a designer so sims is um, a game that she loves to go on. I mean, if I would let her, she would go on it every single day, right? So, but I work with my kids on like, if you're wanting to go and have some like electronic time, there's certain things that, that you need to do. Um, I mean, my kids love to read. So re asking them to read isn't like, it's not like this thing that I'm torturing them with. Um, so, but you know, they need to spend some time reading. They need to, um, spend time in meditation and doing some Reiki on themselves before they, you know, put themselves in front of a computer and, you know, get sucked into, into that whole, um, AI, right? That's a whole nother, um, video to talk about. Um, but with my older daughter, it, it's, it's a, it's a place that we, we struggle with like the two and the, the two of us where, um, she's like, I don't want to have to like, 
do this I just want to go on my on my game and I'm really trying to like teach her like why am I wanting her you know to spend time in meditation to spend time like breathing and to spend time um, doing Reiki before she goes and you know goes on a computer the protection for herself you know the grounding for herself you know and yesterday it was like I just it that fire energy just came up inside of me and I you know I got frustrated with her but then I had to step back later on um, because you know most times now I'm finding out whenever I react in a certain way that is just it's not who I want to be I'm noticing that like right away it's like it happens and then I notice it but it's not just noticing it it's then talking about it right and that's a big step right to to be, to be like um I was wrong I did this you know I apologize and I, I had to do that with her and tell her like I don't want to get frustrated with you like I don't want to raise my voice with you this isn't you know I'm just trying to like help teach you things that you know now in my 40s I'm just you know coming to learn and understand the importance of you know just to help her right and she understood that right she like she knows as well like I'm I'm I don't want to be that type of a parent that like that gets frustrated um, but it happens sometimes right it happens with all of us but it's it's owning that it's eating the crow and saying you know where you messed up and it's it even in that it helps teach teach them right I hope that it, this has helped teaching her that when she messes up you know then she can like own it and then you know talk about it and talk it through and then try better next time it's always to try to do better the next time right because things are, are going to continue triggering us and, and coming up and frustrate us um, once you really start working on yourself the, you get you get out of that loop but from the loop then you start like spiraling right so it's not that things ever fully go away like um, we're still living a human experience right that's what we came here to do is to live a human experience so we still have ego right so things are gonna come up for us right but things once you're working on them and really working on yourself those things when they come up they come up differently right you react to them differently you you work through them differently you're not as triggered by them and that for me was something that um, a little while ago that came into my forefront and it was like wow that is so true because I had I had had stuff come up to me as I'm working through more and more stuff and I was like I thought I had worked through that like why is this still coming up for me and it was actually through um, a one-on-one -on -one session that I had with Bonnie I've spoken about her before she has um, so I, I always get her website mixed up but it's um, soul vibrations I'll, I can link it again um, but she's phenomenal um, and it, it was through that that she had had mentioned and talked about the um, you know the spiral right and it just clicked it made so much sense for me and again you know what I always try to say this you know I I, I need to stop saying always <laughs> that it, there are certain words that I'm really trying to get away from and that is one that that I think is is really programmed in me and I'm really trying to get that out but so I try with a lot of my posts that I post you know on my telegram or different places um, just saying like take whatever resonates and leave what doesn't right my truth does not have to be your truth right we each are on our own journey and we're all on different parts of the awakening right so we're not all going to be at the same place we're not all going to come to the same truth and that is okay right we just need to find a place where we can you know still like live with each other love each other honor each other have compassion with each other be able to have conversations without it being like this attack and this um, triggering that we're projecting onto other people right and just really listening you don't have just because you're listening to somebody doesn't mean you have to take that on as your truth right there's a lot I'm, I'm listening to like different people all the time right some of the things I resonate with even within the same like video or what you know 
podcast they're doing, there could be within that podcast or that video things that I really resonate with super strongly and then other things that I don't. And I just let it go, right? You just let those things go. And that's what it was with um, with those comments that I was reading. Um, and I'm like, I'm not even going to go back because I don't even care what people respond to after because that's not on me. You know, whatever is coming up for them, whatever things they're being triggered by, that's for them to work on, right? And that's not any energy that I want to take on or put into. That That 3D density for me is really hard right now. Like I I have a really hard time when I when I, you know, fall back into that or I step into that you know, um, and I'm not saying I'm fully in 5D or anything like that, but I definitely can feel like the shift. And I think a lot of people can feel that shift, right? There is a lot of like crazy emotions, crazy energies happening, ups and downs. Um, you can feel it within your body, right? I'll have days, like I can feel that fire sometimes. I can, there's days where like, even today, like I'm a lot more sore within my, my back and stuff like that. So things are coming up, things are, I'm, I'm working through things, right? Um, another thing too is like, um, that I've really been like working on is my, uh, my root chakra and my sacral and my solar, right? Like the lower, of course, yes. I, you know, a lot of people talk, especially if we're talking like within the spiritual communities, it's all about like the higher chakras, you know, your third eye, your crown chakra, your solar, or your, your sorry, your star chakra. But we, we, the healing i truly believe the the deep healing you need to you need to work on your root chakra and your and your sacral and your solar like that is where a lot of that deep you need to be able to work on that and to really ground right like those are your chakras that are connected to the earth right really grounding and those for me have been things that have been really coming up like as much as i i'm working at you know opening my third eye and working more with different like gifts and abilities um the, what comes into me is work on your root chakra that is the area that i need to like really focus on i really need to heal there's a lot of places within my life that i'm really working on healing right um another video that i will post sometime um has to do with like um a story in regards to my my ladybug bowler i posted that as well on my telegram i get people uh especially when i do videos and they're asking like what is a bowler like what do you mean and so my ladybug it's painted up as a ladybug i did not paint it i can't take the credit for that um but it is um i've spoken about it on other videos it is a magical um little camper for me it literally i feel like it takes me into um a different world <laughs> um, but I wanted to share you know like a story around that so I'll do that on another, another video because this is already getting a lot longer than I expected I need to get back on the road but yeah just um, I just wanted to pop on and talk about you know some of these downloads that were coming to me as I had this time to myself as I'm driving you know listening to um, other people speak and just, I hope some of this resonates with you guys. If it doesn't, like I said, just leave, just leave it, right? It, don't put any energy into it. Um, I do, again, want to say how truly grateful and I am for just each and every one of you that um, is coming to my channel, but especially those of you that are leaving the comments because every single comment that I have been reading has just like filled me up right it I can feel your energy I can feel your love I can feel our connection right there's a, so many of your comments that I get full body chills when I read it right and it's just confirmation right that that we are coming together we are connecting we're, we're working together we're working towards that unity that oneness and and you know we have that whether whatever our truths may be we have that same thing in common about you know living in love sending out the light um, coming from a joyful and grateful always to be grateful for that for which you have for how far you've come you know, trying to really stay in the moment opposed to like, yes, we need to work on things from the past, especially as they come up. And, you know, there is 
the manifestation and, and things that you want, but there's a balance in between that, right? And really being present in where you are now and being truly grateful for that. So um, I hope you guys are having a really great day. We'll see if I get to some more videos or not, or if I just, you know, unplug for the weekend. I don't know. I'm super open to just whatever happens. I have no expectations. So uh, enjoy the day and we will talk soon. Take care.